Williams and Brooks here bringing you the sounds of World War II. <laughs> Turn that motor off. It is off. Just one of them engines won't say die. I understand. You can dis truck now. Yes, sir. Look at this beat up mess. Somebody paying you guys to throw the war? We got ambushed, Sergeant. Germans really threw a lot of stuff at us, too. They shooting like we wanted to marry their sisters. <laughs> or one truck light. They hit an ambush, sir. Oh, wow. Yeah, you could say that. We was driving directly behind truck number two, sir, when a grenade hit it. Next thing we knew, we was driving directly behind nothing. Nothing. A right. Ambushed. I wonder if I have any form for ambush. Look on the Indian War, sir. <laughs> we better report this to the captain, Lieutenant, sir. It's probably a good idea. Yes, sir. That's why you thought of it, sir. I would think so, yes. <laughs> that makes five trucks this week. When the German Red Cross comes by, you can tell them we gave. You guys see it? Oh, it was awful, Captain. That grenade hit truck number two, and it just turned over and started spinning like a top. We didn't even have time to wait by. We just barreled on home. What were you doing driving behind number two? Huh? You're supposed to be driving number six. Well, somebody had to report the accident. How did you know there's going to be an accident? When you see a bunch of grown men fooling around with tanks and grenades and they ain't making a movie, you better get ready for an accident. <laughs> Who are the drivers? Number two, that would be Brown and Harper. They don't come nicer than Willie Harper. For a fact. Of course, bad mouth Brown invented meanness. I think he got a royalty every time somebody committed rot. Maybe they got clear somehow. Maybe. Sir? Yeah? You lost one driver. We've listed his partner as missing in action. Found this wallet by the overturned truck, sir. We've already sent a cleanup unit into the area. Yeah, thank you, sir. Hopper. Willie was sure nice people. Lord must have really liked Willie, or he wouldn't have called him home so soon. If I'd have been Willie, I wouldn't have taken the call. I'd have been out to lunch. <laughs> All of us would. A right. <laughs> get a detail, take care of Harper's body when he gets here, hmm? Pick up his personal effects. I'll write his folks. Are we all, sir? Yeah. Okay, I'll do, Jay. That's one more I owe you. Hey, look here. Here's a picture of Willie and his mama and papa. <laughs> I guess they're all together now. Look at that man's face. Wouldn't harm a fly. Not even a German fly. For good luck. Yeah, Willie ought to sue that horse for breach of superstition. <laughs> To whom it may concern. If I'm not around when you read this, it's time to be concerned. That must be his will. Herein is my last will and testament. I'm writing this with a sound mind and what used to be my body. Good old Willie. I hope no one is too sad about my passing on. It's as natural to die as it is to live. It's just one's a whole lot more fun than the other. Yeah, you're right, Willie. Being Louisiana born, it is my last wish and hopeful desire to have a New Orleans style funeral. Enclosed is the money to cover expenses and for all my friends to have a good meal and a last drink on me. Thank you. Goodbye, one world. Hello, next. Willie Harper. Seven dollars? Seven dollars is a joke. It's only one dollar funnier than six. Ain't much for a New Orleans funeral with a marching band and all. Offer him more than seven dollars and he'd laugh in your face. It was his last wish, sweet. I know. Can't you help him? Why me? You always said Willie was good people. Alive he was, but dead, I ain't sure I want to hear from him. You know my daddy always said, if you can give a man his last wish, you help smooth the way to heaven for him. 
seven bucks ain't much smoothing money. You ain't even gonna make the down payment on a bump. Sweet. I understand the grief you men feel for Private Harper. He was a fine soldier. Unfortunately, there's nothing the Army can do. Well, there ought to be, sir. It wasn't Willie's idea to get himself killed. He didn't even ask to get drafted. <laughs> of course not. All we're asking for is a New Orleans-style funeral. I mean, it's just not that easy. The Army works in mysterious ways. Now, they let me promote him in the field, or I could put in for a raise for him, or they let me send him to officer's training school, yeah, I've met officers walking around in Willie's condition. Uh, no offense. No offense taken. Now look. Yeah? They'd let me requisition an ice cream freezer and have him shipped to New Orleans. Great, sir. He could start thawing out just in time for Mardi Gras. Sir, maybe if we ask Captain Cavilli. I was just going to suggest that. Valley? What do you want, kid? Can I turn this down, sir? You touch that, I'll break every finger in your head. I've got some men here, sir. If I don't buy protection, your men are gonna lean on me? I'm not sure if I follow, sir. Forget it. Captain Cavelli, we'd like to talk to you about Willie Harper. We have permission, sir. I gotta listen to a little opera every day or my culture goes right down the toilet. <laughs> What's this convention about? And going through Harper's effects, they found his last request, sir. Willie said if he died, he wanted a New Orleans-style funeral, Captain. That's going six feet under in two, four time. A New Orleans funeral? Come on, will you, if I give in to this, the next guy's gonna want a Chicago funeral, somebody else will want a Pittsburgh funeral, and for the summer, a Miami Beach funeral. <laughs> Sorry, men. No time for party. New orders. Our next trip to the front. It's 20 miles more to the east. If Patton don't slow up, he's gonna break the four-minute Germany. <laughs> Sir? Willie Harper was our best driver. He was the Red Baron of the Red Ball. If it wasn't for Willie, we'd all be eating powdered knockworks. Yeah. He was a great driver. For a fact, sir. What is a New Orleans funeral, anyway? Well, a lot of people of our persuasion ain't got time to sing the blues because they're too busy living it, correct? So when their time is up, they want to give their spirit a fit and proper send-off. That's nice. A New Orleans funeral is like the Lord sending down his welcome wagon to greet them. We'll need a marching band, some fine eats, and beaucoup de beverages. Yeah, you know, my people in, the old, in Italy used to do something like that. They don't line up. <laughs> Wait a minute. An army funeral is dirt cheap. This sounds like a whole production. If you'll give your permission, Captain, we'll raise the kitty. You probably could. All right, go ahead and do it. You guys have been doing a great job. I can't give you a raise. At least I can do is bury you. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Captain, what is it? You behave very gruffly, but you are an exceptionally fine person. You really think so? I really do. Don't slam the blanket. Hop in. Tommy Barrel. I'm Willie Harper. Now, who's going to be the first one to lay a little loot on Willie? I want you to dig down deep because uh, heaven is a long way off. I'll give a dollar. A dollar, man, we couldn't even mail him to heaven for that. <laughs> well, if you don't want it. Who don't want it? Come on now, Cruz. Loose a little gold. This is for Willie Harper, who may just be the first truck driver saint into heaven, not mentioning his miserable partner, Bad Mouth Brown. Let's hear it for Willie. Here's five. Oh, yeah. 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 Now we're cooking. Now we 
cooking. I got five. Just five. Let me hear a little more of that jive. He go five for that jive. <laughs> you sure you ain't just shucking us, man? This ain't gonna wind up in your own personal kick, is it? Uh, Would I rob uh, a dead man? <laughs> you swing a little fangs off a of Dracula. <laughs> yes, you bite your throat. <laughs> Jedediah, put me down for half of next month's pay. Right. Right. Woo! Wait, wait, wait. You kidding? Dead straight. We got to raise a ton of bread. Remember, we got to hire a band. I'll give 50 cents. Oh. 50? I ain't talking about a comb and tissue paper. I'm talking about a genuine marching band. I'll give 10 bucks. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Take the man's money, Jedediah, and give him a kiss. Uh oh, uh, I'll give another extra dollar if you forget about that last part. <laughs> I got ten. 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 Let me hear it again. Woo! Again. <laughs> Come on, troops, give a little, give a lot. Everybody put something in the pot. I'll give two more. If Jersey does an imitation. Jersey! Yeah. Name it. Yeah. Esther Williams. Oh. <laughs> you got it. Da 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 You, dirty rat. <laughs> I got a rod, and it's curtains for you. It's a curtain rod. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for Willie. Somebody give five just because you're alive. Hey, I got five over here, sweet. Oh, groovy. Ooh. Look here, we got Willie halfway to heaven. Uh, this money don't go for Willie. You gonna be there to greet him. Yeah. Never been straighter in my life, will you? Yeah. <laughs> Can these guys read American music? Knock it off. <laughs> Let's try it now. I'll give you three for nothing, and we'll take it from the top. Was ist das von the top? Von Anfang an. Ja, yeah. uh, danke. Okay. Okay. One, 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 two, one, two, and. <laughs> Something is wrong? Wrong? You guys gotta study two years just to get rotten. This is just rotten. Stink. Now let's try it again. This time, let's put a little meat on the bones. One. One, two, one, two, one. And. <laughs> Gumbo Creole? Gumbo Creole, yeah. Don't this food make you feel at home, sweet? I'm from New York. I'm probably the only man in this outfit that craves matzo ball soup. What kind of animal is a matzo? <laughs> Proceed ahead, Madame Delacour. Uh, I thought uh, for the main course, a jambalaya with fruits de mer, and uh, a small salad endive, and uh, for dessert, uh, an omelette norvegienne. Is that your good? Is that good? Well, that's, that's real bomb, madam. Yeah, you're dealing a death blow to K-rations, mama. And uh, this, Mrs. Sweet, is the bill in U.S. Uh, 
I take nothing for myself, huh? That is only for the food. But uh, everything is so high. <laughs> is the worst. Ce n'est pas ma faute. We ought to make Hitler chip in for half. He started this rumble. You got enough, sweet. Well, I can't hit the guys for another dime. Uh, how about 20? Anonymously. <laughs> wow, well, thank you, Captain. Yeah. Listen, I've been thinking, just in case I should die, I don't want any big funeral, you understand? Just make sure my upper records are in a box with me. And a couple of cigars in case they allow smoking in a balcony. <laughs> Feels pretty good to do something straight for a change, huh? Of course. <laughs> Gentlemen, all I'm asking for is a little time. Time. Tight. Tight. Put, put a little heart into it. Hurtson. We ain't got much time for a funeral, so shape up. Fritz, I know this isn't your usual gig, but could you give it a little less strudel, a little more general? Yes, sir. Stink. <laughs> you ain't no better. You supposed to have rhythm, and you blowing the myth. <laughs> Let's all look at our music. Where it says, with them, okay? One, two, one, two, one, two, and. What'd you do with Willie Harper, sweet Lord, ain't gonna ever forget him. Well, the next time I draw to an inside straight, I sure hope he remembers I'm the sweet Williams he owes a favor to. You know, you lucky the Lord has a sense of humor. <laughs> Hi, fellas. Hi, Hi Willie. Willie? Willie? Is that you? Hey, man, get yourself a girl. What you doing here, Willie? You ain't supposed to be here. I nearly almost wasn't. When my truck turned over, I didn't think I'd ever see this place again. Who bought it, Badmouth? And you're gonna have a tough time getting into heaven considering what his last words were. <laughs> oh, Badmouth. All you nice guys are like. Hmm. Either you die too soon or you don't know when to go. Give me a middle of the road man anytime. What's he gobbling about? <laughs> Oh, well, Sweet's just so excited to see you that the word's running around in his mouth. I'm tired, guys. I want to report in and catch up on my sack time. Beat as you are, you don't want to go nowhere. I mean, you might fall asleep before you go to sleep. Right, Jed? Right. I ought to report in first. In your shape? Oh, we'll report in for you, won't we, Jedediah? Uh-huh. You're okay, Sweet. I don't know why nobody don't trust you. It takes as fine a person as you to appreciate as fine a person as me. Thanks, fellas. What are we gonna do? They're burying the wrong man. They don't never bury the wrong man. If he's dead, it's his turn to be buried. Brown's the one's dead. We guys ain't gonna like that. You don't see Brown smiling about it either, do you? Come on. Hey, wait, wait. If we don't get this thing over with that, there's going to be a two-for-one burying sale, and I'm going to be number two. Come on. Shh. 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 Let's get this funeral on the road. Yes, sir.
Man, I gave you ten dollars. Now where's my bread? I, I can explain. What are we there in a box of hogs, y'all? Oh, Williams, if you have flim flammed this outfit again, you're gonna find yourself up to your eyeballs in Idaho. Look, give me a chance. I'll give you a chance. Right up from hey, nowhere. Wait a minute, quiet. I'm not saying anything. Jesus, we didn't do nothing wrong. It was the Lord who decided that it was Badmouth's turn to go and not Willie. Badmouth Brown? What a waste of a funeral. Yeah. Truth is, fellas. Badmouth Brown was a human being, too. And what we're celebrating here today ain't the badmouth part. It was his soul. And that part belongs to the Lord. He's right. And I want everybody to feel some genuine sympathy for him. <laughs> Shoot. That's an order. Sergeant. Sir. Yeah. Okay, man, fall in over here. Peanuts, Fritz, you too, stink. We're saying goodbye, Lawrence Brown. You did your part for your country, for your outfit, and you did your part for your people. Whatever happened here wasn't so nice for you, but now, thank God, you're on your way to a brand new start. Thank <laughs> you.